Wonder Hussy here. I'm ridiculously excited because I just discovered this fantastic new area of the desert that I haven't really explored much. And come to find out, it's full of amazing old ruins. I'm at a old mining town from, I don't know, the 18 or 1900s. It's way up here in these mountains in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I mean, when I say I'm in the middle of nowhere, this time I really mean it. There is nothing out here except for the busted up remains of this old mining town. Obviously there's a lot of campsites, so uh, off-roaders come out here and there's a lot of off-roading trails, but it's really, really remote and far away from any major city. So it's, <laughs> it's definitely a trek to get out here. You have to be dedicated. Okay, up here you get a really nice vantage point of this, how friggin' desolate and remote this valley is. But then look, this was a pretty significant operation here. And you can see they had some kind of milling, I would guess, operation going on. And then they just kind of <laughs> drained out all the toxic water and cyanide and let it pool up in the desert down there. It's kind of a shame. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but this whole hillside and valley is sort of sprinkled with little buildings and ruins and mine shafts. And I'll drive around and check those out in a bit, but there's this trash pile here that I thought might be kind of interesting to look at first. It's like an old water tank. Look, it said Holbrook Company, J.F. Holbrook. I wonder who he was. Oh, Los Angeles, California. Some guy from LA. Wow. Had some kind of manufacturing facility. It's all busted up now. And then there's just old, old, uh, rusted up stuff everywhere. There's so much stuff here that I don't even, I feel like I don't have the time to poke through all of it. Oh, wow. Look, it's one of those old ovens that even has like the Roper scientific cooking chart on the inside. It tells you, you know, how much you would want to cook biscuits at. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's unfortunately, it's all shot full of bullet holes. That sucks. It's a nice stove. Why do people feel the need to do that, man? I'll never understand. Okay, now look, here's a really interesting old shed. Doesn't look like there's really anything in it. it has no roof left anymore. <laughs> you can hear it squeaking in the breeze. And then if you look up right up above it, look at that. Obviously there was some kind of pipe that came out of that building and fed down into that. And then maybe they uh, processed it in that shed. Oh, and then you can see there, that must be where the old shaft was. It's all roped off. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson, unsafe mine. Stay out, stay alive. Yeah, I'm not trying to die in a mine shaft today, but let's look at least. I mean, dang, look, wow. I don't know if you can see very far down there, but it goes down quite a ways. Woo! Wow, look at this building. Holy crike! First of all, look at the construction of this thing. It's thick, timbered, really solid. I mean, dang, this thing is built to last. And look what's in it, though. Just an old recliner. And a bunch of creepy old shelves with just junk on them, nothing. I don't know if this, this must have just been like a storage. Oh wow, look at old yellow pages. Yikes, I wonder where it's from, Vegas. Yarrington, Fallon, oh, it's somewhere northern Nevada. Yarrington, interesting. Anyways, wow, I wonder what this place was. I mean, look, oh, look at the top back here. Oh, and another thing, speaking of this thing up top, is there's that chimney or vent coming out of this. So maybe it was used to store dynamite, you know? Like this certainly looks like it was some kind of bunker used to store dynamite. Let's see if we can see what's in here. Oh no, look, creepy stairs going down. <laughs> Yikes, everybody be careful. Hang on to your hats. <laughs> well, look, golly, it's just a empty, Room for storage. Yeah, it must have had dynamite in it at one time. And then look up here on top. Oh, that must have been some kind of like water tank or something. Oh wow, old Budweiser cans in there. Far out, man. Oh wow, look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> another at it. That's cool. It's all shored up with stone. Doesn't go back very far either though. 
and it's kind of full of brush and debris. Make sure you guys can see it. I know the light's kind of wonky. Just dead ends. So many interesting little old abandoned structures in this desolate valley. But look, here's the coolest one of all. <laughs> A cabin. And it's one of those cabins volunteers take care of and you can stay in it. Look at this place. Pretty big. It looks big on the outside. Let's see what it's like inside. <laughs> Look. Nice little recliner with a hard hat in case you want to do any mining while you're out here. If you want to have a outdoor fire, there's a fire pit out front. That's nice. Look, it's got a pretty solid wooden porch. Oh, it's even got a little front lawn. Look at that. How nice. Nice little tea kettle. <laughs> Look at this porch, man. This is cool. There's another recliner here. Sit here and watch the sunset, I guess. I don't know which way the sunset is. Oh, look, there's a like a reflector. Sorry about the sun, but there's a reflector mounted on a pole there. So that's cool if you're trying to find it at night. And then look at this. Like it's a mobile made out of old rusty found objects. It reminds me a lot of some of the mobiles I saw up at Panamint City in my Panamint City video. Check that out if you're into weird found object art okay now we're on the porch <laughs> looks like some storage bins that probably have supplies in them you know for people who need them oh this is full of old iron pots and pans look at that they're dirty though they didn't even wash them come on guys put this back on i think all these rocks are up here to keep the lid from blowing off because it gets real windy out here and look here's another one this one is full of, oh, it's got some hiking boots and gloves. Cool, oh, some supplies. Look, here's another pot, but they didn't wash this one either, whoever was here. It's dirty. Look at this. People put up all these little signs, and they're going to be really hard to read, but they're made out of tin, hammered through with like a little nail. Jesse loves anime. Oh, cool. I don't even know. Uh, axe, 16 points on Bible and stuff. Live, laugh, love, trust God. The Rodericks, hmm. Just a bunch of people's names. John, Joe, and Bob. We're here in October of 2000 from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, that's pretty much the closest major city we're near, I guess. But we're pretty far from Vegas. Wow, look at that. I wonder what that thing was. Anyways, look on this side though. More little names. Cody and Zach. Look at this old lantern, wow. Those old boots. <laughs> well, look at those old boots. How old are those boots to be in that kind of shape? Well, look at this old rope. But what I really think is interesting over here is look, it's a, I guess it's like a shrine to somebody who used to come out here. Old cowboy boot and a really cool little sign. But I'm going back to the desert. It's nearer to God. All in all, I knew it would come sooner or later. I'm only obeying the call. Well, look, love you, miss you. Aw, he loved this place. John Vanderwall. Oh, the lost Dutchman deep in the heart of Nevda. Oh, forever lost with the coyotes. Love you, Dad. Miss you. Love you, miss you. XO, XOX, Diane and Brian. Wow, what a sweet tribute. Okay, now let's go in this cabin. <laughs> I mean, there is a doorbell here. I don't know if it works. Let's see. Press for room service. <laughs> mm, no answer. Oh, look. Pull down to open. Pull, pull to open. What? It's on. It's a handle on a string, and you pull it, and it does some kind of a latch inside, I guess. Look at that! Wow, cool. Oh, metal detectors were out here. Cool. Wow, look at this cabin. Not bad. Just gonna do like a kind of like a 360 to give you a, an idea of what we're dealing with here before I go into any details. It's one main room with a good old wood burning fireplace. There's the door that we came in. On this side, there's a window and another doorway that goes into this. Well, this is the second room that we saw from the outside. So this is just kind of like an empty bedroom, I guess. It's chilly in here. I don't know if I'd want to sleep in here. I'm gonna be by that fire. And this bedroom has a window looking out at this beautiful desert. Cool. And then there's some supplies laid in here. There's a old folding chair. Friends don't let friends drink to buck chuck. 
from Petra's Cafe in Mammoth Lakes. I don't know. I like two bug check. Wow, interesting. Okay, look, there's a, oh, there's some cots with mattresses and ooh, cozy flannel sheets. Ooh, those are nice fleece sheets, not even flannel. Look, there's plenty of water laid in. Probably all kinds of supplies back here. See if we can see anything else now. No, just water and mattresses, huh? Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, wow, speaking of water, I didn't even notice all those cases. Wow, okay, so there's plenty of water here. They don't need me to leave any of that. Okay, where should we start? We're just gonna start right here by the door. Here's where everybody left their cards. Wow, landscaping by Matt. Wow, all kind of people have been here. Great Southwest Moto Adventures. Yeah, I think this is probably pretty popular with um, off-road guys, off-road bikers. And oh, look at this. Buying claim does not make this cabin less public. Claim owners. I can't read what it says. They can use, but cannot alter or deny access to any above ground existing structures. Please clean up your trash and waste rock. How rude to leave the driveway filled with waste rock. Oh, well, I guess some mine owners up in this area were kind of trashing this cabin. That's a bummer. Anyways, these are all uh, cards that people have been here. Oh, look, remember when we opened the door and we had to pull on that cork looking thing here? Look, it's redneck engineering to open push up. So I don't know, I mean, you guys see what's going on there. Look at that, there's a hook. Ha ha ha. And then this is weighted with some random old stuff. How clever, love it. Very cute. Oh look, there's some fire extinguishers even here in case you start a fire. Cool, let's see what this is. Oh, from 1997, an old note. Most enjoyable stay, perfect weather, no wind. Picked up trash outside, stacked up willow branches. Yeah, they just did some, some fixing up. That's cool, neat. Okay, and then we have some, oh look, food for patriots. 72 hour food supply, powered by Patriot Pantry. A long-term food survival solution created by patriots for patriots. Wow, we, people are so friggin' paranoid. Oh, maybe I should be more paranoid. Look, they got a vinegar water solution for cleaning. They got everything here. Some artwork hanging on the wall. Look at this cyborg. <laughs> Actual, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, so we have this top picture and then we have this bottom picture. The top picture is a liberal survivor, AKA victim. The bottom picture is an actual survivor in case of true emergency. So let's look at this poor liberal. Oh, he's got a cell phone. He's got tape and emergency phone numbers, tweezers, antiseptic ointment, useless stuff like a first aid kit and a flashlight. What a loser. Meanwhile, this actual survivor, you know, he's armed to the teeth with all kinds of crazy crap. But somebody has come in here and said, no penis, making up for penis. <laughs> and I love this too, where it goes, in case of true emergency, eating bullets. Yeah, because really, I don't know why people have to be so contentious about this stuff. I mean, whoever put that up there, I'm as liberal as they come and I'm pretty well equipped. But what are you gonna do? You know, just some people are just always gonna hate liberals. Look, here's some old mining certificates. Gold mining, wow. Oh, this must have been, oh, this is a picture of Lida, Nevada from 1905. Ooh, it was a pretty big town back then. Now there's really not much there. It's kind of close to where we are. Huh, there's all kind of graffiti on here. Oh, look, there's even Venetian blinds on this window. That's cool. I love it. Okay, and then we've got some books. The usual, oh, here's the ladies' bookshelf. Johanna Lindsay. See if this is one of those ones with Fabio. Yep, it sure is. There he is, Fabio. Looks like he's some kind of a pirate or a, what do you call a guy who works on a ship because there's that big ship steering wheel behind him. Let me see if I was right. Warren Anderson. Oh, it doesn't say if he was a, he's probably just some kind of Navy captain. Oh, straight-laced American ship captain. Oh, okay. Instead of a Viking or a pirate for a change, that's cool. Okay, and then there's some philosophy and other ladies' books then down here. This must be the men's. Oh, I don't want to see it. There's more joy. I want to see. This is a lot of ladies stayed here, or else guys who like reading romance novel. And then look at all this philosophical explanations. Wow, that's cool. Philosophy. So there's been somebody here who has a, you know, more advanced way of thinking. I don't know. It must have not been the person who left that survivor picture up there, because that person didn't seem like they were very... 
evolved. Wow, uh, look, here's just some supplies. Tea lights, little coffee cans with nails and stuff in it. Wow, cool. Oh, look, another Venetian blind over this window. Wow, some old mine signs. Yikes. Stay out, stay alive. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, and then just a bunch of graffiti. I don't know why somebody would put a shooting target in the cabin. You don't want people to shoot this cabin out. That's weird. I see you in your sleep when you're not even looking. Huh. I don't know what that means. Oh, look, there's even a, a backpacking mat to sleep on. That's cool. God, there's just all kind of crazy junk here. Look on this shelf. Crackers. Oh, tons of Top Ramen. Wow, you could actually survive here for a while. Even some beefaroni. Candles, playing cards. Bunch of, uh, oh, Bibles. So you could, you know, fellowship. What's in this? Amazon box. Oh, office supplies. And those really gross plastic floss picks. I don't like those things because you see them on the ground everywhere. It's like, it's not really that friggin' hard to use regular dental floss, guys. It's in here. A little prescription bag with some oh, little ointment bottles and stuff in it. Okay, so this is kind of like a little pharmacy box, I guess. And then underneath of it, let's see what kind of magazines they were reading here. Oh, Arizona Highways. The moods of weather. Oh my god, look at that font. I love it. Wow, what a cool magazine. Lots of cool pictures in it. It's a whole series of them. Oh, this is my number one favorite font, though. It's called Bookman Swash. Love it. Yep, these are all Arizona Highways magazines. Oh, wait, look at this one. Look at, oh, wow, cool, Native American. All from the 70s. Wow, that's old. And then this looks like some kind of survivalist catalog. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, maybe it's a Cabela's catalog. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, cool. Neat. All right, well, I'll put this pharmacy box back where it was. I better latch it back up like it was. Wow, far out. A lot of interesting stuff on that shelf. Look what it says here. Please, take what you want and leave something if you can. Pack your trash out. Yep, that's rule number one. And they've got some firewood laid in for the stove. Oh, and look, on the other side of the door where we came in, there's a pretty detailed map of the area. That's cool. Hmm. This Most of this graffiti is just unspeakable to even read. Okay, there's one more cabin we haven't looked at. Let's see what's in here. Mice. Tight. Shut tight. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, look, food. <laughs> Tons of food. Oh, there's even oats on top. How oh, do they keep the mice out of that? Macaroni and cheese, hot sauce, beans, coffee, plates. Holy moly, you could live here for a while. I'm going to shut this tight so that no mice get in there. Like that. Okay. Wow, what a really fun little cabin. I love it. Oh, wow, I didn't even see these. Look at these old pictures of miners up there. Look at that old timer. Look at this guy. Dang. Times were different back then. They didn't have cabins like this they could just roll into and stay at. I'm sure there's a book somewhere that I could... Oh yeah, here's some log books. Let's see if there's anything good in the log book. Or the trail register. Oh, May 2008. Second time here. Good to see that it is still in good shape and people have left it alone. Oh, from Placerville. Wow. Vern and Kathy. How nice. Oh, look who came out here. Biff Baker and Gary Keener. Wow, all kinds of people have been out here. Wow, from Knoxville, Tennessee. Dang, it's amazing to me how far people come to come check these places out. I'm lucky it's in my backyard pretty much from Reno. Hmm. Oh, this goes 2010. Mexico, wow. Oh, look how cute. Me, my mom, sister, seven years old. My grandpa has been traveling from Las Vegas, Nevada to the other side of Nevada. We had to go through the rest of Nevada and through California and had to go to Nevada. We stopped at Gold Point to walk around. A man told us how to get Sophia here. When we got here, I thought it was haunted. I did not like it. I do now. Ah, that's funny. Okay, well, very cute. I don't think I'm going to leave a note in the book, though, because I'm not actually staying the night. I'm just poking around. And also, I don't know. I don't want to antagonize whoever put that stuff up. Because, yikes. All right, I'm going to come out and lock this amazing lock. Yep.
Okay, good. I think I could even latch this for double plus protection. Yeah, look at that. See, there's a hook down here you can do too. Because it gets real windy out here. You want to make sure it's latched up tight. Make sure this cabin's in good shape for the next person. Okay, look, here's the outhouse. You know me. No stone left unturned. No lock left unlatched. Okay, well, it's not terrible. Oh, look. <laughs> The light's kind of wonky, but there's a little reading material in here, even Arizona Highways from October of 1976, $1. Dang, this was a dollar back then even. Cool, nice little magazine about, looks like it's about the photography and stuff in the Southwest. Oh, cool. It's actually a really neat magazine. Make room for Western art. That's pretty much all there is in this outhouse though. Nothing fancy. Ooh, and it smells terrible. So I'm getting out of there. Okay, wow, that cabin was pretty cool. I don't know if I would want to sleep in it. The carpet was pretty rank and it didn't seem as tidy as other cabins I've been in. But you know, if you're freaking out here in the middle of nowhere and you need a place to crash, I certainly wouldn't complain about it then. <laughs> it's a cute place. Okay, wow, what an interesting historical old mining town. If you're into stuff like this, I recommend this spot because there's lots of old mining wreckage, there's lots of old cabin foundations, and there's even that volunteer cabin you can stay the night in. Unfortunately, I don't have time to stay the night. I gotta head on back to Vegas that away. <laughs> and it's gonna take me a while to get there. So until then, Wanderhussy signing off till the next adventure.